Hi, welcome to the channel. In today's video, I finally made it to Quartzsite and there's an NV2500 here and Duncan's gonna give us a look at his DIY van build. Come on in and take a look at my Nissan NV. So this is my 2018 NV2500. I bought it last year and uh, built it out. It took me about four months to do the first build and uh, made many m mistakes along the way. The second build I did uh, this year and uh, pretty much turned everything around. Uh, and made it a little bit better. And what I've got over here is a sink and uh, uh, a water pump. So I've got about 12 gallons of water in here, a little bit of uh, gray water. Um, a lot of storage back here and a bed that turns out to be about uh, full size. Uh, this is not a television, it's actually a, a computer screen so that I can uh, do some work on here if I so choose. But it seems like every time I get out to the desert, I just lose the impetus to work, so. Um, Got my guitar up here set up in a way that, you know, a guitar that is, uh, I've found that isn't out, doesn't get played. So it's set up in a way that I can just pull it down, put it back up. Uh, a lot of storage down here with drawers and, um, you yeah, know, lots and lots of drawers and, and stuff like that. It's also designed to be able to sit inside the van and, uh, you know, both face inside or if I want to just sit here and play my guitar and enjoy the scenery other than the trash bag right here, then I can do that. Down here, I've got my heater, which I just installed. It's a Wave 3, and it just opens up to a small five-gallon propane tank. More storage underneath here, and a refrigerator and a freezer under there. Nice. It's very nice build. And you and the ceiling is tongue and groove. Yeah, it's all tongue. All of it is tongue and groove cedar, and I finished it with three coats of varnish. Took a while, but uh, came out nice. Uh, it's got a few holes in it from the first build, but you know, if I blur my eyes, it looks great from 20 feet away. Right. So what made you get into van life? Um, COVID came along and it was time for me to get out and, and, and get going. So I started watching a bunch of, of videos. Uh, I don't think your channel was out quite uh, quite then, but uh, if it had been, I would have watched it. So, um, so I sort of, uh, I, I had never been a camper before. I had been to all seven continents and I always believed that, um, but I had never camped. You know, I had always believed that camping is great mm -hmm. if one, the destination you're going to is really worth seeing. Mm -hmm. And two, the only way to see it is by camping. And that literally was the definition of COVID. Right. So, uh, so I started watching some videos and, and uh, learning how to tent camp. And, uh, you know, then I uh, after a couple of months, I, I hit the road and I thought I was absolutely nuts. Um, and then I and I didn't have a plan. I just knew that I had to get west of the Mississippi to where all the BLM land. And this was right in the middle of COVID. Uh, you know, there were the, the, the truck stops, the rest stops. They were all closed. Right. So uh, it was quiet. And I ended up in Angel Fire, New Mexico. It was absolutely freezing. It was probably about 22 degrees. And uh, that was the first time that I ever uh, uh, you know, slept 30 feet from bear scat. And, oh. uh, you know, it was it was an exciting it was an exciting couple of days. And so I ended up spending the entire year uh, on the road, um, most, you know, about half and half between the the, uh, the SUV and um, and uh, hotels once they once they cleared those being OK, you know, be, for being safe. Uh, then I came back to D.C. and uh, thought about it some more and, and uh, worked a little bit. And then something happened with work that forced me to stick around for a while and, and the car was the, the SUV was dying and so I decided to buy the van and, and uh, started building it out and, and uh, you know made a lot of mistakes along the way uh, again if I had had your video channel then I probably would have made a few more a few less mistakes um, and uh, so I went out on the first uh, first trip uh, it was about six months 180 days out 179 in the van and I absolutely loved it I slept better in the van than I slept in a in sticks and bricks and nice uh, so I rebuilt it this summer and uh, came out again and, and here I am what do you think the hardest thing about van life is <sighs> that's a good question I think it's different for everybody mm -hmm. there are other people who are um, looking for something you know there are other people who are seeking adventure there are people who are you know running from something and, and uh, there, there are other people who just want peace and don't want to be bothered so I think all of us probably carry a little bit of that with us when we when we come out um, and I think that's why this community tends to come together because mm -hmm. you know we all have so much that we share with each other but for me I think you know I wanted to I wanted to get back out into the world and uh, you know start being vocal again um, it, 
when I first started out, I wasn't very sociable. You know, I wasn't antisocial, but I wasn't seeking people. I tended to stick to myself. And now I'm, you know, uh, a lot of parts of me have kind of fixed themselves. And, that, yeah. and that's that's great. Yeah. 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 All right. So tell me, it's a miracle. It's, it's one of our bucket list items to go to all seven continents. So that's incredible. Mm -hmm. So what's your go to? What's your bucket list for the U.S.? The you have a favorite place? You, you know, a... I, I in the in the I guess close to three years that I've been doing this, uh, three seasons, um, I've seen a lot of, of what I wanted to see, and uh, you know, so now I'm seeing things that I wanted to see twice uh, or mm. three times. I absolutely love Glacier National Park. Um, the highlight of this trip, of all of these trips, I have to say, was uh, Yellowstone in the winter. Um, it is not a trip that I probably would try in a van that, that was done out of a hotel. Um, but it was absolutely magnificent. You can see things that you would never see uh, in in uh, um, in the summertime, and you certainly don't have to deal with the crowds. Uh, and that was absolutely magical. But you know, love the Tetons. Most of the national parks, the Big Five, are all fantastic. Big Bend was a real sleeper, um, and uh, uh, you know, and I and I have to say, just be some of the some of the best times that I've had are also in just flat deserts. Mm -hmm. um, you know, that uh, where a group of like-minded people come together and sit around a campfire and have a great time, and you know, people coming from all walks of life, and you just sit around and have a nice time for a week or two. Nice. Well, it was a pleasure, pleasure meeting you this week. It's just incredible. I think it's incredible the people that you meet on the road. And so good luck on your travels. Thanks for showing us your sure van. Yep, and yep. yeah, just keep moving forward. All right. It's a nice build. Thanks.